This is Jim Reinbold with Carlson Software. And this is Mark Silver from iGage. You know, we just finished a video showing how to annotate lines with both grid and ground distances automatic. What we'd like to do now is show how to annotate lines using grid and ground again, but then we're going to offset the line to the right and annotate it with geodetic bearings and geodetic mean distances. So again, in our drawing setup, we've established our grid system, state plane, Utah North, and calculated a distance scale factor to be used for that ground distance from our grid coordinate. Right, now that's not a project scale factor. Our project is at grid. This is just for doing annotation. Correct. So if we go into our annotate and look at our defaults, we can see that our angles are set to use a basic bearing. Let's uncheck the geodetic, geodetic mean angle mean. for now and go to distance. And in our distance, we actually want this to be a grid distance. And and we'll go ahead and annotate those. And I tend to use the auto annotate because it'll do both line segments at once. The ground distance is far longer than the grid distance. That's a good sign. So then we want to go ahead and just offset this. Now we're just going to go ahead and offset this, if I can spell offset, about 1600 feet. Gets our lines far enough apart so we'll be able to see the scale on those. We do want to go ahead and reset some of our defaults again. So we are going to go into the angle and tell it to use a geodetic mean angle. Under distance, we're going to tell it to use the geodetic mean elevation distance. And we're going to turn off the second annotation. Perfect. Here. We just Perfect. need the geodetic distance there. So then we can do our auto annotate again. So now we've got a geodetic bearing and we've got a geodetic mean distance. So if you're retracing the original rectangular survey, this is an awfully cool feature. Now the other thing is periodically you're going to want to just get that geodetic mean bearing without having to do with the annotation. Easiest thing to do in Carlson is an, an inverse. So you type I and hit enter and go into your options by typing O. In here we can tell it that we want to report the geodetic mean bearing. So we click OK there and then we're going to go from point 1 to point 2 and if we look at our report in here it's giving us the latitude longitude convergence the geodetic back bearing forward bearing mean bearing and geodetic and ground distances. It, this is just amazing. I think this is the only tool that does it. Well it's one of the many geodetic commands that Carlson has added over the last couple of releases. I love this. Thanks, Jim. You bet.